हेलो माय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक मार्ट विशिंग यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड टुडे आई शो हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई सिक्योरिटी वाइल एक्सेसिंग द एपीआई सिक्योरिटी कुड बी अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ लाइक दैट वी कैन यूज ओ वी कैन यूज एपीआई की इन विच विल पास द क्लाइंट आई एंड द क्लाइंट सीक्रेट और अनदर काइंड ऑफ सिक्योरिटी वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट लाइक एल we can use some ldap user registry and on behalf of that we'll validate the users uh, credentials so uh, for this uh, video i'll uh, use uh, three uh, <coughs> component one is data power okay uh, after publishing the api it will be uh, available in the data power and another is developer portal so we can see the api here and we can subscribe to those api api and we'll create the application where we'll create the client id and, and the client secret and those credentials we use while accessing the api so uh, first let's see the behavior uh, before applying any security so uh, this is my sample api which i'll use for this demo so uh, here we are we are not applying any security headers here uh, let me remove those okay <coughs> Uh, so we are not using any security header any kind of authori authorizations okay so uh, no headers but, and we can uh, access the api but in the real real scenario uh, we shall apply some security so that the user who has the credentials can access the apis so uh, let's proceed uh, let's log into api connect first develop uh, tag and here we can see our apis and products uh, i have one api and one product so in the api let's go inside the api so here we can see that i i don't have any security schema for this api uh, here is my simple gateway script uh, i showed in my last video uh, friends we can do one thing we can change the view of uh, this uh, uh, API connect here like uh, we can see uh, all the tags in the left hand side um, actually I do prefer the another kind of view let me change the view first okay so uh, how we can change the view of our uh, <coughs> API connect here just we need to write FF so here we will enable uh, enable legacy open API editor for open API 2.0 documents okay so I'll enable this one. Okay. Let's go to home page. Okay. If we'll, we'll go inside a page, see, uh, now it's uh, the UI it changed, uh, <coughs> changed and like we'll, we'll go to assemble. So uh, we can see it's a similar kind of V5 uh, GUI. Uh, so in the design, first we'll create uh, some security definitions. So here we can see that security definition controls client access to API endpoints, uh, including API keys, relations, uh, basic authentication through a specified user registry, or we can use the OAuth. So uh, uh, in in my next video, I try to cover uh, how we can secure our API using the OAuth. I don't have any LDAP user registry, so uh, but anyhow, if I'll get a chance, I'll uh, make a video for that also. So here first we'll use this, uh, we'll secure our API with the help of API key definition, okay. So, <clears throat> and here uh, I'll use x hyphen ipm hyphen client id, uh, that will be my API key, it's not the basic, okay, so API key. Here we need to, uh, we need to mention it will be part of our header or a query param, okay. So here I'm using as a header. Okay. and here we need to mention the key type either it's a client id or client secret so first we'll select client id okay and here we need to mention the parameter parameter name each uh, name which will pass in the header okay so i'll use cyber client id save it okay uh, let me create one more uh, uh, 
confidential header okay so here i'll use client secret and again it's it will be api key and it will be located in header and it will be client secret and the parameter name would be this one okay so, okay now after creating the security definition we have to use those security definition into security part so here uh, we have to add those securities okay so as mentioned here security definition selected here apply across the api but can be overridden for individual operations okay let me add we'll add client id and the client secret here and save okay uh, what's the room here let me check Key secret header again. <coughs> Let me do this one and add it again. Okay, in the security definition. Let me delete it and add it again. why it's not allowing us to to add the securities uh, so here uh, we have client id and the client secret okay so uh, let's go to a portal okay and create the applications so here's the portal tab and we'll create an application first okay. so we'll keep a uh, lab okay say so uh, let's see the client id and the client secret uh, as you were that we can see client secret only one so we have to uh, keep a secret very carefully so that if we'll miss we have to create the secret again so first let's copy the client id Okay, here the client ID and this is the client secret. Okay. Okay. So uh, okay. So we have the uh, credentials for this uh, API. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's. Uh, publish the api and let's see the behavior of the api okay so uh, we'll go to the product here is our product and uh, i have already uh, subscribed to the uh, product so instead to publish it i'll use uh, publish preserve subscription so it will preserve the subscription i have subscribed for that product so i'll use this option okay. so we have to select the sandbox catalog Okay, and publish uh, let's check the behavior of the api as we have implemented the security for this api we'll go to the postman and uh, here see uh, now we can't access the api without the credential so for that what we need to do we need to pass the header here okay we have a client id with us so we'll use this client id okay and the secret okay 
right see uh, if uh, the combination of client aid and the client secret will not match uh, still we can't access the api that's for example still uh, we'll get the 401 uh, unauthorized okay so we have to pass the uh, correct pair of client id and the client secret showing that not registered to the plan okay uh, let me uh, subscribe to the uh, plan again here we'll go to the portal okay uh, i pay products okay because we created the apps first time so uh, first time uh, initially we were not using any apps for that api so we get the app so we have to subscribe to uh, that plan okay we will use this one okay next done okay so it will take some time to uh, reflect our changes so now we can see that uh, uh, with the credentials we can access the api if any of the credentials will not will not pass it will not work okay and uh, will not send this one we can't access that api and if you'll pass any of the wrong values like if i'll not use this one i'll omit uh, one word uh, one letter it will not work so always we have to pass the correct values of client id in the client secret and the pair shall be correct both client id in the client secret okay and we can see when we'll create uh, any applications okay we can see uh, within the catalog so we'll go to the sandbox catalog here we created uh, the lab okay so we are using this one this is another one okay uh, if you want to delete uh, and here we can see that for this lab we don't have any subscription okay and that dedicated a uh, month ago uh, this lab uh, is application type is production and uh, state is enabled okay uh, here we can see which client id we, we are using for uh, this application okay we can't see the client secret and subscription is one okay uh, it will show you how many user is subscribed to uh, this application and the name of the organization we can delete this uh, this application okay uh, even though we can read this one also I'll show you uh, but uh, prior to delete this uh, application we uh, there is a one plan is subscribed to that one so we have to unsubscribe then we can delete that applications okay so if you delete this uh, application uh, it will it will be not visible uh, here okay in the app step okay uh, we can see that it's enabled and one plan is subscribed for that okay so here uh, we can see a lab at the subscription it will show uh, uh, we have one subscription for this uh, product okay and application will be lab okay here we can see the client id we can see here uh, i think that's it fine and let's go to data power okay let's try and find out if we can see the application there also We'll go to uh, that API connect domain and we'll go to API uh, definitions. Uh, we have one, okay, here is paths, okay, okay, uh, secure, here it will show you the security requirements, okay, initial. Uh, we were not uh, implemented in security but now we can see that uh, we we have a security for this one and we can see here like uh, a client id and the client secret we have to pass for uh, this api so uh, 
the thing is that like in v5 we can't see such kind of configuration into data power but in we can see uh, whatever uh, configuration we have uh, for the api we can easily see into a data power okay uh, it will show you the your target url and all those things okay uh, what else we can see here okay mm -hmm. Let me check one more thing. API a plan. We can see here is a plan. Okay, uh, for this API we have one plan only. So this is our plan, and uh, we can see that its client is on here. The security is on for this API. Uh, like that, we can see here the API operation rate limit, rate limit scope. We can see here. Uh, let me check one more thing api path yes we have api path also uh, it will give you uh, the details of uh, all the operation belongs to an api we can or we as you know that we have only one operation get if you will have the multiple operation we can see all the details of uh, operations here okay i'll show you that for this api we have only one operation Let's go to the API first. I'll show you the paths. Okay, here we have only one path. Okay, this is the only path. If you want, we can add uh, multiple. Like here is the get only, but if you want add operation, we can add operation or put post delete options add patch. Okay, as per your requirements, you can add the operations. Okay, uh, what else we can check for this? Okay, control panel. Okay. Logs. Here we can see that whenever uh, hitting that uh, API, we can see that the logs are generating into our uh, data power also. Okay. So, so we can see. Uh, so, friend, this is all about uh, the security uh, implementation using the API key. In the API key, uh, we'll use the client ID and the client secret. Here we can see. Okay, security. After creating the security header here, we have to uh, uh, add here also. If you'll not uh, add, if you'll not enable the checkbox, we will not. We just created it, but we didn't. Uh, will not able to use those headers. So just make sure of after creating the security definitions. Okay, here you need to add those security headers as well. So after the adding the headers, we we'll, we have to create a application into a developer portal, okay? And in the application, we have to create some credential client ID and the client secret, and we shall keep those credentials with us, okay? And uh, with the Postman, we can test that it will not use uh, any of the header. The uh, service will not work as intended. Uh, so uh, next video I'll try to make uh, how we can implement OAuth uh, to access the API. So thank you guys, thank you guys for watching my video and please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon so that you'll get the notification of newly created video. Uh, once again thank you, thank you very much guys for watching my video and supporting me. Thank you.